I can picture all the haters watching Abraham and his family stroll back into Bethel with their entourage of servants and animals. A farmhand and his buddy both hurry in from the field to get a closer look. They'd all heard the big news about him starting a new nation. They'd also seen him leave town during the famine. They're under the assumption that old Abe has been licked and has called it quits. He's finally coming back with his tail tucked between his legs. Walk of shame, walk of shame. Chuckles one of the jesters with his forearms propped on the fence rail. That whole promised land thing didn't work out for you, huh? The man trails off. Nice camels. What, you hiring yourself out as a shepherd now? He issues a low whistle. That's a lot of animals. They're mine, Abraham says softly. What, the Lord give them to you? The jester ribs, nudging his sidekick playfully. He's not buying Abraham's answer. Actually, yes. But they're from some Egyptian guy, says Abraham with a twinkle in his eye. You're working for an Egyptian? The man says, arching one brow exaggeratedly in surprise. He shields his eyes with his forearm as something shiny on Abraham's camel catches the glare of the sun. Abraham smiles and gives the camel a pat. They're from Pharaoh, he says directly, along with all the other animals. The man's eyes narrow in disbelief and he opens his mouth ready with another quip. The words die in his throat. He gulps as he takes a closer look at the advancing convoy of animals and servants. Each is adorned with ornamental collars and tattooed in hieroglyphics. The cows even have gold rings in their noses. Well, I'll be, whispers the jester softly. Abraham smiles inside, relishing the shock he's just dealt his skeptics. It is to be short-lived. For the next 25 years, as he and Sarah age, waiting for their promised son, there will be plenty of joke material from the hecklers. This has been an excerpt from the book Heart-Shaped Waffles by Terry Souza on Amazon Kindle. This adaptation is fictitious and has been made using artistic license to give the reader a behind-the-scenes perspective of Abraham's return to Bethel after visiting Egypt. It should not be misconstrued as scripture. You can find the actual biblical account of Abraham's return to Bethel in Genesis 13 verses 1 through 3. To read more excerpts like this, visit heartshapedwaffles.com.